Hey everyone, it is your boy Blazy here bringing you a brand new video this fine Friday afternoon and I hope everyone's had a fantastic week so far. We have made it to the weekend people. The, not only that, the international break is over and we have a whole weekend of football to look forward to. What a time to be alive people and not only that, a brand new collection dropped today and it's not just any collection, it is the new Tops Champions League sticker album for 2023 and on release day people we have managed to get our hands on the brand new Tops Champions League 2023 starter pack and not only that we also have 10 packs of stickers to be open in today's video people so it is a double whammy we will be opening the starter pack today and 10 packs of stickers meaning you guys are going to get to see 100 stickers of the brand new collection in today's video which is going to be really really exciting uh, I've not taken a look at this set at all uh, and I'm excited to share that moment with you. So we are going to be checking out the brand new collection in today's video and people, I am buzzing to get this open. So before we crack this bad boy open, if you enjoy today's video, then make sure you smash that like button and do subscribe not to miss any more Topps Champions League sticker openings. We're going to be opening the multi-packs, the boxes, the special tins with the parallels. We will open everything on the channel alongside all the other crazy soccer products uh, we do all the time, so do subscribe not to miss another episode in this series. But for now, people, let's rip this starter pack open and take a look at the brand new collection. So here it is, people, the brand new Tops Champions League 2023 sticker starter pack. And I tell you what, people, I am absolutely hyped to get this one open. It looks absolutely incredible this year's set. And not only that, we have got 10 packs that we are going to be opening in today's video as well, which means you guys are going to get to see 100 stickers as we unveil this new collection for YouTube, which is, um, honestly, guys, I am so, so hyped. And we are going to be keeping the hype train going over the next few weeks because we've got plenty of these products to open, including two multi-packs, which are going to be coming at some point next week. So do subscribe, people, if you want to catch some more uh, Champions League sticker openings. It is going to be a crazy few weeks for the channel. So focusing on today's video, people, I managed to pick up this starter pack in Sainsbury's. Uh, and if I'm correct, and I am correct, because I've seen it on there, it retails at £4.99, which is pretty good. And each pack of stickers is £1. So if you wanted to pick up, say, 10 stickers and a starter pack, you're looking at £15, which isn't bad um, for like 100 stickers and the starter pack. I think it's a really, really good value for money. So £4.99 at all good supermarkets. I did go to Mozza's first thing. That's Morrison's for those of you that don't talk in slang. I didn't see it there. Sainsbury's is the only place I've seen it. Um, but do go hunting and I'm sure it's going to be in your local supermarket. So inside the starter pack, right, you get the album as well as two packets. It also says on here, bonus live stickers album inside as well. Um, last year, the live stickers went inside the album. A lot of people were annoyed about that. And for those of you that are new, live stickers were moments from the Champions League last year. So, for example, we had a live Real Madrid winner sticker and it went inside the album and people were really, really annoyed because it made it difficult to complete the album because you had to collect stickers pretty much throughout the whole Champions League. This year, the uh, the live album is separate, which means you can focus on completing your main album and then you can worry about the um, the live album if you want to worry about it throughout the season. So it works out for everyone. If you want the live stickers, fantastic. You can fill out a separate binder. If you're not fussed about the live stuff, you only have to work on, work on finishing uh, the core um album that comes in this year so i called it a binder there from you can tell i'm still all my voice is still going if you're a blazy collects familiar you'll be able to tell that um but yeah i'm struggling a little bit with my voice still but we have to get this out on release day we can't miss the opportunity to show you guys what this set looks like looking at the back it does give you a bit of an indication as to what you can expect with the starter pack so obviously you've got your 80 page album 20 stickers and the live sticker album as well and some of the stickers you can look for this year are new shield shaped stickers shiny captain and golden goal scorer tickets or stickers amazing best of the best stickers epic ucl record holder stickers interestingly guys right newcastle were the only teams who ever have lost their first three group stage games and still qualify for the next round so interesting newcastle record fact for you there world-class legend stickers we can see we've got a peter schmeichel right there even more women's stickers which i think is really exciting we've got patellas there it's quite nice they start both the men's and women's in one album nice and inclusive a lot of people didn't bother with the women's euros but if you stick them together people will collect them so i think that's a really nice touch and the ucl team of the season stickers so there are so many crazy stickers uh, in this year's set, which is really cool. And the live stickers will be available exclusive 
at tops.uk for those of you that aren't too familiar with it. So we are going to get this starter pack open right now. We're going to have a look at what the album looks like. And then we are going to move on to looking at the stickers in this year's collection. So look at that. I actually bought 10 packs at uh, WH Smith on my lunch, like I said. And what I'm going to do is add these two to the pile to make sure we're doing 10 packs of stickers. I don't want you guys to be one short of 100 stickers in today's video. We are going to be looking at all of them. And straight away, people, you can see we've got the main album on the left-hand side and we've got the live album on the right-hand side. So the live album is a lot slimmer. There's not that many stickers. Uh, so we'll move that to one side for the moment and we're just going to focus on the main album itself. We can see we've got Virgil van Dijk, Benzema, Haaland, Kimmich, Pogba and Mbappe on the album this year. Haaland deserves to be there. Can't say I think Paul Pogba should be necessarily um, not the best form last season. Also, apparently, his brother said he summoned a witch doctor to um, make Mbappe play badly at the World Cup, but I ain't speculating. So, anyway, the album looks really nice. The artwork's really cool. It's got, like, plate splodges on it. Uh, it looks nice. It looks really, really nice. Tops have done a great job with the design this year. Uh, if we open it up to the contents page right here, it gives us an indication of everything we can expect inside this album. So if we take a look at the contents on page one here, we've got the Tops logo, the Champions League trophy and the Champions League match ball. So kind of your normal, you know, chase stickers right at the beginning. You want those shiny stickers at the beginning of your album to complete it. Uh, and they're the first three stickers. We then got on page two, the UCL team of the season, the men's team. And then on page three, you've got the women's standout performers as well. So on pages two and three people, we're going to have the men's um, standout stickers and the women's standout stickers, which I think is really, really cool to have them inside one album. So uh, I know I keep going on about it, but I think it's a great thing for the game. When we go through here, you can see you've got all teams from the Champions League as you work your way through. So if we flip to one of them. We got Borussia Dortmund on here. Uh, and you can see you've basically, just like last year, got all of those shield stake stickers going across on there. Uh, and then something about a young wonder kid, it looks like here. And then a double impact sticker for Dortmund. It's Bellingham and Giovanni Reyna. So you've got those double stickers this year, which is really cool. Your young wonder kid, it looks like right there. And interestingly, no stadium stickers. And you know what? I'm not particularly moaning, right? about stadium stickers and the reason I'm not moaning about it is, is we all know how hard it is to get that crisp line down the middle when you try to stick it in two bits of a stadium so I ain't moaning about that this year people when we go through here we've got some more pages we've got the global game the best of the best from last year all-time Champions League records UEFA Champions League dream team Champions League legends UEFA Champions League women's the Champions League sticker update information and then just a whole load of other stuff and information at the back of it. So some information at the back and all your insets are going here from the global game right down to the Women's Champions League. So if we flip through to page number 54, we can just take a look at what those pages look like. We've landed on sports in Lisbon right there. Uh, and again, I can't see where the numbers are on these pages, which is uh, making life a little bit difficult. So you can see Dream Team on here. It's like a start in 11 as you work your way through, which looks really, really cool. Uh, I'm not going to spoil who those stickers are because I go, you guys are going to want to see it. We've got the all-time records in there as well. So the insert pages, again, are very, very similar to last year. You just stick in those special stickers that you're probably going to get one per pack inside all-time records. Best of the best for women. Best of the best for men. Um, the global game players from over the globe. There's some really, really cool uh, insert pages in there. And I think if we just work our way through, we'll just take a look at what else is in the album. You've got your update stickers in there that can be released halfway through the season. A lot of update stickers, by the way, exclusively on tops.com. For those of you that are going to wonder how you get hold of them, loads of loads of updates on there. That's crazy. Uh, you've got the role of honour of all the previous winners, a bit about the UEFA Youth League, uh, and then how to complete your collection at the back. And a nice big breakdown of what everything means on your sticker too. So the album this year looks pretty cool. And I was drawn to one thing when I opened it. I was drawn to this, the new rare and ultra rare parallel stickers available this season. I will be releasing a Panini World Cup video very, very shortly where I show you the official parallel stickers for the World Cup in the USA because the USA has exclusive parallel stickers and it looks like tops have followed that trend this year. In the US for the World Cup Panini stickers, you get parallel versions. So each base sticker comes with a white around the outside and each parallel sticker comes with a different colour. So a blue is every one in two packs. So you can see I've got a blue Trent Alexander-Arnold right there. And that contrasts with this base card, this base Joel King sticker. So you've got a parallel with a coloured border 
a normal with a white border and you got that video to look forward to shortly people come to the channel and it is going to be a really fun video uh so alongside that what i'm meaning by parallel stickers is you can see tops are releasing this kind of like hanger box that has rare and ultra rare parallel stickers in so my guess is that these are going to be limited to certain numbers of stickers so for example in the panini stuff the black one of ones is only one in the world and if you take a look on there you can look up for the ultra rare golden parallel first stickers so my gut feeling is they're going to be doing something very very similar um yeah very very similar to what uh, panini have done for the world cup because some of those world cup stickers over in america are going for so much money in the parallel so uh when those hanger boxes come out people we are going to be getting our hands on plenty of those as we look for the rarest parallels in this champions league set so a really really cool album um for the 2023 collection we're loving it uh, just like mcdonald's loving it uh, and we take a look at the live album as well um, you can see in here that basically you can write in your groups on there but then you've got space for all these live stickers and by the look of things people there is going to be a lot of stickers as you work your way through this 104 live stickers for this series i didn't collect any live stickers last year but do you know what i could be tempted to do it in 2023 so maybe uh, we'll get this album completed as well. But our main focus for now, right, is going to be completing that base album. And again, you can see that winner sticker right there from Madrid last year, um, which I think you can still get online, actually, funnily enough. So I think it gives you the dates as well. Yeah, you've got the date to when all those stickers will be released. So if you're collecting lives, you're going to be doing it right up until June 2023, which is an absolute mad one. But if you're committed, people, you'll get it finished. I've only really ever got one or two sticker albums complete. I'm not very good at it. But we are going to get the tops champions league sticker album completed this year people i know it i know it so i think people we are at the stage where we want to have a look at what these 2023 champions league stickers look like so we are going to get these ripped open and let's have a first look at what the new collection looks like right it is time people to rip some champions league stickers right here right now on release day so I've had to sit down for this little bit because this album is so big, right? I have to stand up behind a massive tripod. Now we're just doing some little stickers I can sit down. So I tell you what, it has been a right workout film in today's video. So we are going to waste no time, people, and we are going to start off with pack number one. What do these Champions League stickers look like in the flesh? Let's get this ripped, people. First pack magic right here. Are we going to get something spicy inside our first Tops Champions League pack? So we start off with a base, Steph under bridge of Inter Milan. You can see the design this year. It's kind of a triangular shield. Uh, probably looks a little bit more easy to stick in than last year. All the curves last year made it a nightmare to stick these in, but hey-ho, they look good this year and they've got quite a funky background as well. Funkypigeon.com. So they are looking very, very nice. So we start ourselves off with a Stephen de Vridge of Inter Milan. We got ourselves Almuth Schultz, our first women's sticker as well. So one man, one woman, uh, from our pack opening, again, a similar sort of design. Different colours in the background uh, for the Women's Champions League. So they look a little bit different when you look at them side by side. Uh, if you can see down there, people, I'll bring them back up to the camera. Slight design difference between the men and women's, uh, but very, very similar. So we've got men's and women's stickers right there. Uh, so one man or one woman. Not that I'm emphasising that point. You've then got our next sticker, which is Paolo Sciortino. And he is a first sticker. Wow. I don't actually know what this first sticker means, people. I saw the number on the uh, the little box thing. I think we're going to have to consult the album, people. So we've got a first sticker right there. It's Paolo Sciortino for Marseille. So I'm just going to stick him down because he's a first. If we go to the back of our album, people, we're just consulting, just consulting. I'm trying to see if it tells us what first means. And at the moment, right, I'm not seeing anything on there to tell me what that means. Uh, which is really, really annoying. So I don't think there's anything in the back there that tells us what that first is. If we go back to the little hanger box, uh, it says on there, look out for ultra rare golden parallel first stickers. So maybe the first stickers are a little bit spicy. Maybe they're a little bit rarer. What we're going to do, people, is we're going to crack through the video. And then when I've had a chance to stop filming today, people, we're going to try and work out what on earth that means. Because at the moment, I'm a little bit dumbfounded. But we've got a first sticker uh, which is really cool. Maybe first sticker just means it's their first time uh, in the Champions League album because actually De Vrij would have been in there last time. Maybe it's Skiotino's just first sticker. Maybe that's what it means. Um, but I'll have a look and I'll let you know at the end, people. So we've got Luan Perez of Marseille. We've got ourselves a... 
Oh, next gen Tron Roth. So next gen is those young stickers that go inside each team page in the bottom right corner. We got our first next gen, which is Tom Roth. Um, we then got ourselves Rafael Liao of AC Milan, a John Stones of Man City, Jordi Alba, believe it or not, still knocking about for you, uh, Barcelona. Uh, what pearly white teeth he's got as well. Look at that. We then got our first shiny top scorer, Lionel Messi. Look at that, people. Lionel Messi, the GOAT, in our first pack. That is first pack magic, people. We have got ourselves the GOAT, Lionel Messi. Whew. That is very, very nice. What a sticker to get inside our first pack. And he deserves a special spot just chilling there, doesn't he? Away from everyone else. Lionel Messi, top school scorer uh, insert sticker. Look at that. That's really, really cool. You've got the top's little reflection on there. That's really nice. Tops have done a really good job of designing this set, people. Uh, and we've then got a best of the best, Alex Zana Arnold uh, Mirafoil right there. So, Lionel Messi, people, inside pack number one. Look at that, our first Champions League video. And you guys have already got to see Lionel Messi. I'll tell you what, you guys were in for a right treat with today's video, weren't you? Oh, look at that, Lionel Messi, the GOAT. We won't do any more Sues this year because Man United aren't in the Champions League, so it's disappointing, but... We have got Lionel Messi. So, moving on, we've got an Orban of Leipzig. We've got ourselves Diego Costa of Porto. Ryan Gravenberch, now a Bayern Munich. Seems weird to see him in that Munich. Everyone's got so many Ajax cards with him on it. It just feels really weird to see him in any kit that's not Ajax. Uh, we got Kolo Moani. A, ooh, next gem, Callum Hudson and Doy. Very, very nice right there. We've got Rice, or Mateus Rice of Lisbon. Ivan Perisic again sees weird seeing him in a Spurs shirt. He was at Milan for so long. We've got Steven Bergwin, another top goal scorer, Mbappe. Mbappe or Lewandowski. 3 2 1. Oh, legend! Our first legend sticker, and it is Paolo Maldini. Look at that. That's very, very nice indeed. Legend sticker, Paolo Maldini of AC Milan. Wow, Top's done a crazy job designing these as well. Look how good that Top's reflection looks on it. That is really, really nice. Uh, so we've got a Paolo Maldini. And we finish off with a captain sticker and the captains of silver this year. A captain, Callum McGregor of Celtic. Wow, people. They're really, really nice. Let me know in the comments right now, if you're watching, what you think of the new Champions League stickers. Because my first impressions, people, is that these are spicy. Right, they're inserts at the back. So, we've got Aubameyang, who's now a Chelsea, so the set is a little bit outdated when it comes to last-minute transfers, but we've got an Aubameyang of Barcelona. We've got ourselves Goncalo Inazio of Lisbon, a next-gen Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer, one of the most sought-after rookie cards at the moment. Very nice that he's got a next-gen sticker. We've got a Cole Palmer next-gen, a El Nezri for Sevilla, a Juranovic of Celtic, Flipping round, we've got DeMarco of Inter Milan, Van der Bremt, a Adoy, a Dennis Adoy of Club Bruges. Two hollow stickers coming up, people. Three, two, one. Oh, our first double sticker of Red Bull Salzburg. It is Fernando and Sesco. What a player Sesco's turning out to be, people. Big move coming this summer, I reckon. We've got Fernando and Sesco double sticker. So we'll stick that one up at the top there. The lightning bolt looks spicy. And that contrasting colours. It's really, really nice, that. Really, really nice. So we've got Fernando and Sesco, as well as a... Ooh, Guajo women's sticker. Um, that's really, really cool. Our first shiny women's sticker. Guajaro of Barcelona. Again, a cracking design. I'm loving this kind of paint swishes and the shiny tops hollow stuff. It looks really, really good. It looks really, really good. Now, I'm just going to slide these over. If you guys don't film pack videos yourself, you won't know how much of a nightmare it is trying to keep a massive pile of base cards or stickers still. They just end up sliding over everywhere. So I'm right-handed. It's just a little bit easier for me to put them down there. So really nice so far. These have been great packs. These have been fantastic packs to open. Lionel Messi, right? In our first pack, we've got a first sticker, whatever that means. Um... And yeah, some really nice shinies. So we've then got Asmoon of Leverkusen, a Mateus Rice, our second one, I believe, of Sporting Lisbon, 
Phil Foden of Manchester City. A next-gen Ivan Romero of Sevilla. Let's go find our next-gen pile. Another, oh, I've already got a, a double Almuth Schultz uh, women's sticker. Look at that, second one in a row. It's number 541, so that goes in the best of the best at the back. Uh, it looks like she's a goalkeeper as well, Schultz. Um, we then have ourselves, oh, what's this? Edin Dzeko, some sort of, in, ah, that's around the world. I'm assuming the Bosnian flag behind him means around the world. So that's our first uh, around the world sticker. We then got Ryan Gravenberch again. Oh, this looks a little bit shiny. It's not shiny. It's not shiny. I'm not a magpie. I didn't clock it. It's just a base. Uh, Sudikov. Now it's a shiny. Shiny coming up. Three, two, one. Cesar Azpicueta. Captain sticker. Um, our second captain of the day. And our final one is a livable player. I think it's Virgil van Dijk. No, it's not. It's Fabinho. We have a shiny Fabinho sticker. Number 10. Uh, and I do believe number 10 would put him in the team of the season for the Champions League last year. So we've got team of the season, Fabinho, shiny sticker right there. Look at that. These stickers, people, are so, so nice, honestly. Um, Panini are very much known for being the OGs with stickers just because they do the World Cup stickers and so many people collect them. However, Tops did do a good job with the um, Nations League stuff and this is a cracking job with the Champions League. So, uh, Tops definitely deserve a massive shout out for producing such an incredible set this year. We've then got Sergio Roberto of Barcelona, a Sergio Ramos, and again, it still feels weird to see him in PSG colours. We've got another Ivan Perisic of Spurs, um, Jamie Bion Gittens of Dortmund. That kit looks so trippy, doesn't it? Renan Lodi, and it looks like someone's played with him on Photoshop. Uh, we've then got ourselves a round the world Handanovic. And I believe that is Slovenia um, behind him right there. So we'll get him placed down with that in Dzeko. Uh, we've then got the Juventus um, Bremer for Juventus. A Oleg Osherekto of Shakhtar Donetsk. Captain Marquinhos. And our final shiny. It's a woman. It is Vashmuth, Vazmuth of Wolfsburg. Was the last one in Wolfsburg? No, it wasn't. It was a Barcelona shiny. So our second... Women's shiny sticker from the standout performers in the Women's Champions League last year. Look at that. Two women's shinies and a captain, Marquinhos. I'm loving this, people. I'm loving this. I really want to know what those first stickers are, people. If you know what they are, I'm going to explain it at the end of the video when I find out. Do put it down in the comments so everyone can see it. Uh, but I'm really excited to see what first sticker means uh, because I've not seen any more. And if it was the first time in the Champions League, we would have seen way more of them by now. So uh, I am interested to see what they are. We then got ourselves Pazvir of Ajax, and you can tell my throat's about to go. We've got Daniel Brakantia of Lisbon. Uh, Edison, the goalkeeper in a very highlighted orange kit for Man City. Uh, Matt Bienko of Shakhtar Donetsk. Stephen Welsh of Celtic. Another Stevan de Bridge. We're getting some doubles already, people. Uh, Vober of Salzburg. A Kandel Kuemwani, another duplicate for us. We've now got the shinies, people. Here we go. Let's take a look at some shinies. Three, two, one. We've got Marco Royce, captain sticker, and I'm gutted for him that he is going to be missing another World Cup. It was an awful ankle injury the other day. The guy does not get a break, and I'm absolutely go for him. But we've got Captain Marco Royce, and this looks funky. Women's sticker, I think. No, Karim Benzema. Look at that. Holographic Karim Benzema. With this one being most goals in a single season, which makes me think he goes with that Lionel Messi sticker. So you've got Lionel Messi, top goal scorer, and Karim Benzema, most goals in a single season. And what a season Benzema had last year. Um, so their stickers 512 and 524. And if we correlate that back, right, with the album, it looks like we are looking at the. Oh, I want to say, and I want to get it right, I don't want to get it wrong for you people. It looks like we're looking at, ooh, not best of the best, or is it best of the best? At ah, all-time records. So they are all-time record stickers. Messi and Benzema are all-time record stickers. So they will go in the all-time record sticker if you find that. Uh, and maybe we'll get a few more all-time records before this pack opening is done. So we move on to one of our last packs. We've only got three more packs to go after this. We've got Serginho Dest. We have ourselves... 
Uh, Mike Megan of AC Milan. No, oh, first again. Our second first, Fabio, Fabio Carvalho of Liverpool. This would be his first Champions League sticker as well. So again, maybe there is a correlation, but we just got first sticker, Fabio Carvalho of Liverpool, which is really cool. We I mean, then got back-to-back -back, uh, Premier League players. We've got Mason Mounts. We've got, again, Rodrigo de Paul. Looks like Photoshop's done in dirty. Um, we have ourselves Ferlan Mendy, Leroy Sane, a Luan Perez, and our hollow stickers are coming up here, people. Three, two, one. Oh, another double. And this one is Vanekin and Ritz of Club Bruges. Don't know why I got so excited. Final one looks like a legend. Real Madrid legend. I want to say Raul. There is no greater Real Madrid legend than Raul, sure, serious, surely. Should we have a look? I can't get my words out because my voice is going again. Three, two, one. No, Carlo Ancelotti legends. We have legend manager stickers, people. Look at this. Legend Ancelotti. He's won the Champions League four times. That is really, really cool, people. There is a legend, Carlo Ancelotti. If you guys have seen the picture of him um, with a cigar on the team bus after they won the Champions League last year, one of the best photos I think I've seen in my life. Vinny Jr. is in the background dying. Like, it's one of the best pictures I've ever seen. There are manager stickers inside the Legends portion of the album this year. That is really, really cool. So this looks like we could have another all-time record there at 5.16. So uh, we'll save that one till last. We then have in our third to last pack, Kenneth Taylor of Ajax. Another Raphael Liao. They're all upside down. It annoys me when they do that. We've got Joel Matip, Jorginho, the penalty king. A Algeti, a Jetty of Celtic. Tony Cruz, who's won five Champions Leagues. That is absolutely mental. What a career he's had. A Tony Cruz. Another first, Skiorinto. And I think the first one was Skiorinto as well. So it must be something to do then with their first appearance in the Champions League or their first top sticker. Um, it's definitely one of the two. So again, I'll do a bit of a Google, guys, when we finish opening these packs. And I'll let you know in the summary part of the video. So we then got Indica of Eintracht Frankfurt. And finishing off, Oh, best of the best, Alison Becker. That is pretty cool. We have got two best of the best now, and they're both Liverpool players. And our final sticker. Oh, I don't know who this is. Oh, is it Inzaghi? Legend Inzaghi or something? Or record Inzaghi? Three, two, one. It is Filippo Inzaghi, and what a baller he was when I was growing up, Inzaghi. He was an absolute madman for La Milan. He is the oldest, right? The oldest goal scorer in the Champions League. So we got Messi, Benzema and Inzaghi from the uh, all-time records part of the of the album. That is really, really cool, people. Filippo Inzaghi. Uh, and I can't put him on top of the GOAT, can I? Inzaghi was a player back in the day, right? But we cannot put him on top of the GOAT. So look at that, people. These stickers, right, are crazy. Really well designed and we've managed to hit some really, really nice ones in our first video today, people. We've been really, really lucky. We've then got Mohamed Ithatran of Ajax. A Derek Uri or Divock Origi. I couldn't read that there. I can't believe he's at Milan now. What a bizarre move. Uh, we've got Divock Origi of AC Milan. We've got Simkas of Liverpool. Thiago Silva, Dave, my boy. Uh, we've got a Furuhashi who everyone's going mad about if they're a Celtic fan. There's then... Federico Valverde from around the world in Uruguay. We then got Lucas Hernandez, uh, one of the Hernandez brothers from Bayern Munich. Kevin Trapp, who again seems like he's been around for ages for Eintracht Frankfurt. Final two stickers, people. We have got a... Oh, is that captain? A captain. Bernucci of Juventus, another captain. These seem to be every few packs. I've got like... This is my fifth captain, so it almost looks like every other pack you get a captain in. Our final sticker as well is of Bayern Munich. I think it's a women's sticker. It is Kumagai of Bayern Munich. Look at that. Our third women's player from the standout team of last year. That is really, really cool. And again, I'm just loving the hollow shine on those stickers. They look so, so good. I can't wait to summarise at the end all of those stickers we got today because they look so, so good. So, final pack magic here, people. Have we got something nutty hiding away inside our final pack? We've got Fosu Mensa of Bayern Leverkusen. We have ourselves Jeremiah St. Just, an absolutely rapid defender of Sporting Lisbon. 
We've got Kevin De Bruyne, Manchester City. Uh, Papu Gomez, and again, I'm surprised he's still knocking around at Sevilla. We've got João Mario of Porto. A Bastoni of Inter Milan. Seibold of Salzburg. Always weird seeing Salzburg in the Champions League. Uh, Clinton Mata of Bruges. Final two, and I think this is an all-time record. 5-2-2. 3-2-1. We've got ourselves Alfonso Davis around the world of Canada. And our final sticker is another record sticker. Our, uh, Ronaldinho? No, Rob? Roberto Carlos. We're going for Roberto Carlos. Most free kicks or something. Three, two, one. No! Robin, Robert Lewandowski. How did I not see that one coming? I think I saw R.O. and thought Ronaldo instantly or Ronaldinho because it was a long one. But it's not. It's Robert Lewandowski. Most hat-tricks in the Champions League. And I'm loving these all-time facts. We've got Messi, Lewandowski, Inzaghi and Benzema from the set this year. I love that. I love that so much. What a first pack opening that is. We have got so many good players. Now Alfonso Davis is hollow. Whereas the other um, Around the World stickers are not hollow, which is quite interesting. Um, and that is it, people. They are the 10 packs we were opening today. I'm just going to sense that in the middle for you guys. I'm just going to take a quick Google as to what these first stickers are. And then we are going to summarise our thoughts on the new collection. So, people, that is our Tops Champions League 2023 starter pack unveiling complete. And I tell you what, these stickers this year are absolutely stunning. Tops have done a cracking job with it, and I think these might be the best-looking stickers this year. We're going to start off with what we managed to pack today. The first sticker for Fabio Carvalho right here. I couldn't see anything online about this. My gut feel, right, is that the first stickers are the first time they've appeared in a Tops album. Uh, so this is Fabio Carvalho's first sticker, which is why if you get the gold parallel inside those boxes I showed you earlier... Uh, they could be worth a lot of money because they are only a set number of the gold ones, uh, from what I understand. So we got a couple of first stickers, including our first edition, Carvalho. Uh, we got Gujaro, so from the Women's Champions League team of last year. We got the Men's Champions League stickers of the team of the season last year. There are captain stickers to collect there with Benushi. You've got best of the best, and we've got an Alison Becker right there. So you've got your best of the best inserts. You've got your double trouble inserts. Look at these two. You've got two uh, top Donnies from Club Bruges on that one. So you've got your double stickers. You've got around the world and you've got a hollow Alfonso Davis right there. These are really, really cool. These are all-time record stickers. And we've got a Lionel Messi top goal scorer sticker, which uh, was an absolute hit from pack number one. So I uh, cannot wait to get them stuck into my binder. And I've realised I'm just putting those in the corner for some reason. Not a very good summary, people. You can tell we're not on our game today. My voice is going again. We've got legend stickers as well. And we managed to get a Maldini and Ancelotti. And you get manager legend stickers in this set as well, which I think is really cool. So they are pretty much all the different inserts you can expect inside the new Tops Champions League sticker range. And if you want some advice from me as to whether you should collect this collection Absolutely, people. There is only really from low price collections at the moment match attacks and adrenaline XL available. You will get match attacks extra and adrenaline XL plus in February, but there is an awful long gap between now and February, and most people are now starting to finish those collections. So I've 100% recommend going on this, and you can also do some chasing for those ultra rare parallels inside those hanger boxes. So there is a lot to look forward to in this collection, and we are going to be opening a lot more people for the channel, including these multi packs as we try to complete the 2023 collection. So there is going to be, people, plenty more to come uh, on Blazy Collects uh, for the Champions League stickers. I've also got some more Stadium Club Chrome, Merlin to open. We have got so much. We are going to be opening over the next few weeks. But for now, people, that is the end of today's video. And if you stuck through to the end, I really appreciate it. What a video it's been today. And if you enjoyed today's video, people, then make sure you smash that like button. Do comment and let me know what you thought of this year's set. And do subscribe not to miss any more Champions League sticker openings, World Cup stickers, Merlin, Club Chrome. We are going to be opening so much over the next few weeks. And I really do not want you guys to miss out. But for now, have a lovely Friday evening. Vibe hard. And I'll catch you on the next video.